How's it? Today is Tuesday, March 1st, and I have a back squat with overhead press and some bonus shit today. Um, today is supposed to be a deload. Well, I guess not necessarily today. The week itself is supposed to be a deload. Um, I'm treating today as if it were not a deload from last week, Tuesday. I'm quite literally pushing up from where I was last week. So last week was 160 for a triple, uh, and then I think it was 70 overhead press for a triple as well. Um, I, I understand that I'm supposed to be deloading, but in my opinion, the squat itself is, I don't know, I treat them differently than the weightlifting movements. I, I understand that the legs are all of the weightlifting movement you know like if i don't have uh rested legs and if i don't have strong legs then i will my technique will fall apart and and the number that i'm hitting or the numbers that i'm trying to hit are not um gonna be um relevant and they're not gonna be good so kind of keeping that in mind it's like yeah legs are important but at the same time i didn't think i needed to deload for squats and I understand how hypocritical that sounds because if I'm missing this is my top set here if I'm missing a lot on my my snatches on my clean and my cleaning jerks right and theoretically it could be an issue that my legs are are not recovered enough or they're, they're too weak and so deloading on squats themselves would be super beneficial um, and yes I would agree that that is very hip hypocritical but I didn't want to stop what I was doing for back squat. This is kind of um, that stubbornness coming in. And I think I talked about it yesterday. That um, if it were just me writing my own program, I don't think I would have made the decision to um, undergo a deload this week. I mean, it's, it's obviously evidenced by me still pushing the, the back squat. I think that honestly, if, if I'm good with my technique on my back squat like this like this set here this is a solid set here that's three um if i'm solid on my technique i think the the weight moves really well so it's kind of hard for me to think about deloading on my on my legs you know um i'm not trying to justify why i'm doing what i'm doing i'm telling you this is the reason i decided to do this i'm not saying it's good reasons i'm saying this is simply the reason why i decided to do this but, yeah, <laughs> a little bit silly of me. I think the overhead press is less integral to the outcomes for weightlifting movements. But um, I still think it, it is pretty helpful. Uh, along those same lines, I don't think it is necessarily... Um, required for me to deload on my, my overhead press. I think that as far as these two movements go, back squat and the overhead press, I, I think of them fairly independently. It's it's naive of me to think that they are independent. Again, everything is connected in some way or form. Like if I had done um, complete shoulder destruction today with my overhead press, um, tomorrow's clean and jerks would be complete ass. Um, and, I'm, and I'm not trying to cover that, that fact up. But this is what I've decided to do. Again, not a good reason, just my reason. Here is my first set, or actually my top set, um, 73 here. This is the most I've pressed in a very, very long time. Since I hurt myself, I think, before Christmas. So, what, uh, two and a half months? It feels like longer than that, so probably like three months, maybe. Uh, whatever the case is, uh, I did some my down sets here, ten percent down from seventy-three, sixty-six-ish. I decided to do sixty-six, and then, um, given that I did meet Tawny, the uh, squat jerker, <laughs> on Saturday, I was like, huh, maybe I could do this. So I just started dicking around, cause it's not. Um, I'm just doing like the deload type stuff, right? So, quote unquote, right? 
So I was like, alright, let's just fucking send it and see how much I can um, squat jerk. <laughs> I thought I could do 120. I got to 110, and um, you know, it was pretty good, but this is just so, 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 so scary. Uh, ended up um, doing that, and then I started cleaning here. So I cleaned 120 three times, but I missed the squat jerk three times. Um, I, I don't know. I want to try again tomorrow and see what I can do. See how it feels tomorrow. So this is 100 again. So that I made 120. Oh, sorry, 110. And then I tried 120 three times. Um, <laughs> I think, honestly, like these cleans feel super good. Uh, maybe I should clean on Tuesdays. I don't know. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the heaviest I did today. And then 120 failed three times here. Like I did mention here, these cleans feel feel super good. It's kind of weird because I, I started cleaning. I didn't even warm up from the bottom. You know, I, I was doing them at 100. I was doing everything off of the rack. Uh, I, I, I was so close there. I, I think I'm not sure if that was the closest one, but that one definitely did feel the closest. Maybe if I use the belt, I don't know. I think they usually say that if you're a squat jerker, typically you have to have strong legs. So um, the way that I, I lift, I do not have strong legs. <laughs> And here's my last attempt. Fastest clean. And then I'm just here like scared. I'm just scared, like afraid. Yeah, so the first one was definitely the closest one. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, and then after that, I finished off with my back extensions, my weighted back extensions. So no dips today and then no um, box jumps. Because, you know, digging around took too long. But, yeah, that's it for today. I'm pretty happy with today. Those squat jerks felt super awesome. <laughs> Scary, though. But, yeah, thank you for watching. Shoots.